Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on fractional indices. In the last few videos we have dealt with powers or indices that are whole numbers. Here we look at powers or indices that are fractions. Let's start with some basic examples. 9 to the power of 1 half. Now when you have a fraction here, if you have a 1 for the numerator and a 2 for the denominator, that means the square root. So whenever the fraction is a half, that means the square root of the number in question. The square root of the base. The square root of 9 is 3. 25 to the power of a half means the square root of 25, which is 5. If we have any number, that's why I've written m, doesn't matter what the number is, if it's to the power of a half, that's the square root of the base. So that's our first example, when the fraction is 1 half. 8 to the power of 1 third. Again, we have 1 in the numerator and 3 in the denominator. That means the cube root of the number. That is, what number multiplied by itself 3 times will give you 8? And the answer is 2, because 2 times 2 times 2 gives you 8. 64 to the power of 1 third is the cube root of 64. What number multiplied by itself three times gives you 64 and the answer is 4 because 4 times 4 times 4 is 64 so in general meaning it doesn't matter what the base is if it's raised to the power of one third it means the cube root of the number let's have a look at some more interesting examples here we have 8 to the two thirds Notice the numerator is a 2, the denominator is a 3. So we saw in the previous slide, whatever the number is under here, because that's a 3, it's the cube root of 8. The 2 means that you place all those in brackets and you square the answer. So whatever the numerator is, that number goes here. So it's a 2, so the answer is squared. So the cube root of 8 is 2. 2 squared, because that's a 2, is 4. Quite straightforward. 16 to the 3 quarters. The fourth root of 16, because 4 is the denominator. Whatever that answer is, you cube it, because 3 is the numerator. So the fourth root of 16 is 2. 2 cubed is 8. Now we know that the fourth root of 16 is 2 because 2 by 2 by 2 by 2 gives you 16. See, you've got four numbers multiplied together to give you 16. And the number is 2, so the fourth root of 16 is 2. That's how we get the 2 under here. Then when we cube it, we get 8. 64 to the 5 over 6. The sixth root of 64, whenever we find that answer, we raise it to the power of 5, because 5 is the numerator. So, what are six numbers multiplied together to give you 64 and it's the same number well the answer is 2 okay if you multiply 2 by itself 6 times you get 64 5 that's because the power is here 2 to the power of 5 is 32 so that's the answer so in general terms if we have m as the base and the fraction of a over b Inside the brackets, we have b, the square root of m. So if that's a 2, it's the square root. If that's a 3, the cube root. If that's a 4, the fourth root, etc. Whatever the number is in the numerator, that goes here. We raise that answer to that power. 
and we've seen three very good examples here that one this one and that one to illustrate that fact so this video has introduced the idea of indices or powers that are fractions and we've seen some basic examples which show us how to deal with the number of different examples.